From carriage rides to Spanish moss hanging from the trees, Savannah's southern charm inspires the music of Thomas Kohler's. A classically trained musician, Kohler's is also the lead scientist at Mev Labs. You can see they're already becoming adults, and this was only after a day. He started the company with a mission to fight deadly mosquito-borne illnesses in developing countries. It became his passion after watching a five-year-old die in Thailand. Mom was holding his hand. The boy was in a coma from dengue fever. And uh, his little sister was crying. And uh, sorry, it was a little bit. I don't care how many times I tell the story. When you see a kid dying, it, it does something to you. It led to 12 years of testing ways to reduce the mosquito population, which would ultimately mean fewer cases of malaria. And it's no accident that Dr. Collars chose the picturesque Savannah, Georgia area as home base for his business, because beyond all this beauty, this is also the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. Well, this is a CDC, Centers for Disease Control, mosquito light trap. Even the backyard of Mev Labs is a test kitchen. I don't give up. I don't give up. Persistence led Dr. Kohler's to a biopesticide called Bacillus thuringiensis israelensis, or BTI. An Israeli scientist first discovered it in the 1940s to kill larvae before they hatched. That bacteria in that mosquito was a gift from God to man to control mosquitoes. Kohler's then discovered how to get BTI to kill actual mosquitoes while also killing larvae in infested waters. And after what he calls a miracle meeting on an airplane, we're in the warehouse. Kohler's joined forces with William Rocky Parker, the CEO of MIT Holding, a Savannah based company, now helping to package his discovery into a bright plastic flower that attracts mosquitoes to the bait that kills them. The completed product is called the Prevector. We want to take this thing worldwide. We want to go global. We want to be able to help every single person out there. We don't need a single person to be dying from malaria. There are about 250 mosquitoes inside this cage. That's the amount you'd find in a home in Kasumu, Kenya, in just five minutes. And those females are out for blood so they can produce eggs. Here right now on my arm, these are a painful annoyance. But in that village in Kenya, it could be deadly. A child dies there from malaria every 70 seconds. Trust me, malaria is bad. It, it's, it's no fun. Malaria nearly killed Emmanuel Cloti. He was just eight years old. Even as I talk, talk about it now and I recall my own illness with malaria, I, I can still feel the heat on my body. I, as, as if I'm having it right now. In the Kibera slum of Nairobi, more than 70% of residents have been affected by malaria. Cloti and Dr. Kohler's traveled there to set up a community prevector project and to teach mothers how to use it. Over time, the mosquito population will go down. This is now one of more than 100 prevector community projects in more than 30 countries. Researchers like the World Health Organization are studying the results. We now actually are getting ready to take this product into Nigeria. It's now Walt Bird's mission to take the prevector to the world. He's MIT Holdings Missions Director. God instilled that in me, that, that passion, that vision to help get the Provector out. So here we are now, ready to get it out. Back at Mev Labs, Dr. Kohler's plays his favorite tune, and it means even more today. God bless the child. I'm so blessed that God let me know what I'm supposed to do, be doing. He said, because of what you've done because of your invention, tens of thousands of children will hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And while the work has not been easy, it has been worth it. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, Savannah, Georgia.